He is known for his significant contributions in the field of botany and natural history. He is recognized for his comprehensive description of the plant kingdom, which was the most extensive at the time and included both images and text. His name is Stefan Endlicher. In the realm of botany, one name stands out for his immense contributions, Stefan Endlicher. Born in Austria, Endlicher initially pursued a career in theology and received minor orders. However, his passion for natural history, particularly botany, led him to a new path. In 1828, he was appointed to reorganize the manuscript collection of the Austrian National Library, where he also dedicated himself to the study of botany and East Asian languages. Endlicher's expertise and dedication did not go unnoticed. In 1836, he was appointed as the keeper of the court cabinet of natural history, and in 1840, he became a professor at the University of Vienna and the director of its botanical garden. It was during this time that he made his most significant contribution to the field of botany. Endlicher wrote a comprehensive description of the plant kingdom based on a natural system, accompanied by images and text. This work, published together with the reissue of Franz Unger's Grundsuch der Botanik, was the most comprehensive description of its time. Despite his immense accomplishments, Endlicher faced challenges and disappointments. He played a crucial role in establishing the Imperial Academy of Science but was passed over for its presidency, leading him to resign. However, he continued to contribute to the scientific community by presenting his library and herbaria to the state. Although he received little recognition for his efforts, Endlicher's dedication to botanical research did not waver. In fact, his work garnered international recognition, and in 1842, he was elected as a member of the American Philosophical Society. As a known liberal, Endlicher found himself in a position of influence during the Revolution of 1848. He was asked to act as a mediator, but the political turmoil eventually forced him to leave Vienna for a time. Despite the challenges he faced, he continued to contribute to the scientific and political arenas, becoming a member of the Frankfurt Parliament and the Assembly at Kremsier in 1848. Stefan Endlicher's life is a testament to his unwavering commitment to the field of botany and his contributions to the scientific community. His comprehensive description of the plant kingdom revolutionized the understanding of botany at the time, while his involvement in political affairs showcased his dedication to creating a better society. Endlicher's legacy continues to inspire botanists and scientists around the world, reminding us of the profound impact one individual can have on their field of expertise. One of Stefan Endlicher's greatest scientific discoveries was in the field of botany. His works on botany were numerous and valuable, with his most notable publications being Genera Plantarum, where he introduced a new system of plant classification, and Grundsuchiner Neuen Theorie der Pflanzenerzugung, which focused on plant reproduction. Another significant work of his was Die Medicinal Pflanzen der Österreichischen Pharmakopo, which explored medicinal plants used in the Austrian pharmacopoeia. In addition to these major works, Endlicher also contributed to the botanical community with publications such as Ceratothica, Flora Pisoniensis, Diasyngia, Attacta Botanica, Iconographia Gene Rum Plantarum, Enchiridion Botanicum, and Synopsis Coniferarum. These works covered a wide range of botanical topics and added to the overall knowledge of plant species and their classification. Endlicher's dedication to botanical research extended beyond his publications. He established the botanical journal Annalen de Wiener Museums der Nadergestjecht and collaborated with Carl Friedrich Philipp von Martius on the ambitious project Flora Brasiliensis. He also conducted studies on the flora of Australia, particularly the plants collected by Carl von Hugel and Ferdinand Bauer. One of Endlicher's notable contributions was the description of new plant genera, including the genus Sequoia, which includes the iconic species Sequoia sempervirens. The origin of the name, Sequoia, has been a subject of speculation, with some suggesting that it was inspired by the Cherokee linguist Sequoia. Endlicher also named a species of Sierra Redwood as Sequoia gigantea, later renamed as Sequoia dendron gigantea, to honor Sequoia's invention of the Cherokee syllabary. Recent research supports the theory that Endlicher combined the Latin word, sequi, with his admiration for Sequoia, creating the name, Sequoia, based on mathematical sequences observed in the number of seeds per cone in the newly classified genus. Endlicher's contributions to botany were recognized and honored by his peers. The genus Endlicheria in the family Loraceae was named in his honor, highlighting his significant impact on the field of botany. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.